blinking right on the front, that means it's going. <laughs> nice video, Elias. <laughs> Hi, I'm Astonautix, and what you're witnessing here is the beginning of something great. Now, I've always had lofty dreams when it's come to YouTube, but learning the skills I need to actualize those dreams has been a little embarrassing, to say the least. As expected, I was a 16-year-old kid posting Fortnite videos to YouTube. Now, I'm hopping into my uh, 1986 Ford F-250. Oh! <laughs> The cops got to it. <laughs> <laughs> but that's part of the process. And I've known that since the beginning. And I also know that the cringe, embarrassing, and grind all don't end here. But I do think that I've gotten to the point with my capabilities, with my equipment, with these lights and my camera where I can maybe start aiming a little bit higher with my content. Now, maybe this is your very first video and you have no clue what my content was or is or has been or whatever. It has been all gaming videos. And I say gaming videos in the sense of like 2015 YouTuber sits in front of a camera and plays through a game with occasional edits type of gaming videos, not the nine hour Twitch stream gaming content that is being put out nowadays in 2024. And I'm not saying that to bash streams, that's actually the way to do it now. So you're actually connecting with the creator or whatever. The 2015 method is admittedly kind of boring now and outdated. YouTube's just grown, grown past it. Small creators like me who love playing video games really have one option when it comes to growing on YouTube or any social media platform and trying to make this into a job, and that's TikTok, with short form content of gaming clips of their stuff. And sure, maybe you can get lucky and be a streamer too. That's like the top 1% of Twitch and Kick or YouTube or whatever. Very unlikely. Possible. You should do it. But the real method is TikTok and YouTube Shorts and Instagram Reel. So I've been trying to take advantage of this and I've actually ended up pulling in about 20,000 views in the past month. I know that probably doesn't sound like a lot to all of you who are used to the 143 million that Mr. Beast pulls in in a couple hours, but that's a lot for me and progress is progress. So gaming shorts will keep coming. Random videos of me just playing a game for fun will not keep coming <laughs> because my goal is to grow because my goal really even outside of just growing is to collaborate with other creators. I love going on YouTube and seeing these creators on YouTube who are making cool stuff and I'm seeing them I'm like man I want to make cool stuff. They know how to make cool stuff and they look like the type of people who are like me like creating things and like being around people. I wish I could create cool stuff with them. So that's really the goal and I think a big step to getting to there is starting to do more in real life videos. In real life videos like vlogs, but those are also admittedly kind of boring unless you're like a millionaire YouTuber like Jinxie who just did it. That was a great video. Also, he's willing to do some stuff that I'm not really willing to do in public quite yet. <laughs> so I actually have already started doing that and I made a separate channel for it. This was a mistake because it was literally a brand new channel with no audience at all and me putting videos that aren't necessarily the best thing ever, but videos I put a lot of effort into and that I wanted to at least the people who know me in real life to be able to see. And it's very hard to get a bunch of people that I've built up for about a year to just randomly go to a brand new channel with my name on it. So I'm just moving those videos to here. Those videos are gonna be here and then I'm gonna start posting videos that are better than those videos here as well. Because I, what I really wanna do is grow outside of my comfort zone because my comfort zone right now is very small and i find a very hard time showing my personality off and to a camera because it just feels awkward and i'm embarrassed and anxious all the time like any normal person would be who's only been doing youtube for a year so this will hopefully grow me out of that or at least start the path to growing out of that i also do want to do little skits because i have a green screen behind this box light back here and i actually already started filming one about the game hell divers and i've had a lot of fun making that and it's had me feeling way more fulfilled than I've been feeling just posting games that I enjoy because I get to do cool effects and cool angles and cool shots with cool music and cool green screen and funny 
little moments all in there, sprinkled in there. And I feel like I actually learned something and started creating something new. And I'm growing as a person and that is fulfilling to me. So I'm really excited for that. That'll come out in a couple of days and you guys will get to see that. If you enjoyed any part of this video, go watch some of my other videos. I know there's probably not a whole lot of cool ones yet. No, there is some cool ones in there. There's a couple cool ones when I was admittedly, when I admittedly looked like an idiot. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking with these glasses and this haircut. I look like Lord Farquaad. <laughs> Watching other videos of mine helps me out as a creator a lot more than liking, commenting, and subscribing. You can still do those things. I'd still appreciate it. You'll be hearing more from me soon, and that's it. See you later.